All praise. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the power of the Holy Spirit. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. We're talking about John Wesley and demon deliverance and divine healing. So is John Wesley the father or precursor to the charismatic movement? I consider myself charismatic. I'm Gary. Lamp of Heaven at Hotmail.com if you want to talk to me about your Skype healing deliverance prayer session. Okay, it is the 6th of May, 2022. How are you? Saved, I hope. Praise Jesus. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, East Coast Fallen World Time. We are reading page 47 and uh, from 47 and 53, not 253, but and 53. I'm going to start a little before where it says in the journal, a terrible sight. The section is, quote, a terrible sight. Before that, it says that four I preached in Shire Hall in Cardiff again, where many gentry I found were present. Such freedom of speech, freedom of speech, I have seldom had, as was given me explain, in explaining those words, the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy. In the Holy Ghost, praise God, at six, almost the whole town, I was informed, came together, to whom I explained the six last Beatitudes, but my heart was so enlarged that I knew not how to give over, so that we continued three hours. Saturday, 20th, I returned to Bristol. I have seen no part of England so pleasant for 60, 70 miles together as those parts of Wales I have been in, and most of the inhabitants are indeed ripe for the gospel. Okay, now a terrible sight, page 47, John Wesley's journal. Tuesday, 23rd, in writing to Riding to Bradford, I read over Mr. Law's book on the new birth philosophical, speculative, precarious, behemish, void, and vain. Oh, what a fall is there. At 11, I preached at, trying to scroll down here. At 11, I preached at Bearfield to about 3,000 on the spirit of nature, on the spirit of nature, of bondage, and of adoption. Returning in the evening, I was exceedingly pressed to go back to a young woman in Kingswood. The fact I nakedly relate and leave every man to his own judgment of it, I went. She was 19 or 20 years old, but it seems could not write or read. I found her on the bed, two or three persons holding her. It was a terrible sight. Anguish, horror, and despair above all description appeared on her pale face, the thousand distortions of her whole body showed how the dogs of hell were gnawing at her heart. The shrieks intermixed were scarcely to be endured, but her stony eyes could not weep. She screamed out as soon as the words could find their way. I am damned, damned, lost forever. Six days ago you may have helped me, but it is past. I am the devil's now. I have given myself to him. His I am. Him I must serve. With him I must go to hell. I will be his. I will serve him. I will go with him to hell. I cannot be saved. I will not be saved. I must. I will. I will be damned. She then began praying to the devil. We began, Arm of the Lord, awake, awake. She immediately sank down as sleep, but as soon as we left off, broke out again with inexpressible vehemence. Stony hearts, break! I am warning you, break, break! Poor stony hearts, will you not break? What can be done more for stony hearts? I am damned that you may be saved. Now break, now break, poor stony hearts! You need not be damned, though I must. She then fixed her eyes on the corner of the ceiling and said, There he is, I, there he is. Come, good devil, come. Take me away. You said you would dash my brains out. 
Come, do it quickly. I am yours. I will be yours. Come, just now take me away. Saturday, the 27th. I was sent for to Kingswood again to one of those who had been so ill before. A violent rain began just as I set out so that I was thoroughly wet in a few minutes. Just as, just as that time, the woman, then three miles off, cried out, Yonder comes Wesley galloping as fast as he can. When I was come, I was quite cold and dead and fitter for sleep than for prayer. She burst out into a horrid laughter and said, No power, no power, no faith, no faith. She is mine, her soul is mine. I have her and I will not let her go and will not let her go. We begged of God to increase our faith. Meanwhile, her pangs increased more and more so that one would have imagined by the violence of the throes her body must have been shattered to pieces. One who was clearly convinced of this was no natural one who was clearly convinced this was no natural disorder said I think Satan is let loose. I fear he will not stop here, he added. I command thee in the name of the Lord Jesus to tell if it, to tell speaking to the demon and the girl the woman to tell if thou hast commission to torment any other soul it was immediately answered, I have L, C, and S, J, two who have lived at some distance and were then in perfect health. We betook ourselves to prayer again and ceased not till she began about six o'clock with a clear voice and composed, cheerful look. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Saturday the 28th. I preach once more in Bradford at one in the afternoon. The violent rains did not hinder more, I believe, than 10,000 from the earnestly attending to what I spoke on those solemn words. I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Returning in the evening, I called at Mrs. J's in Kingswood, We'll have to continue because my battery just ran out. Praise God, we'll have a part two. Praise God. All praise Jesus Christ of Nazareth.